The creation of hybrid. From New York, this is the big time for me. Well, that's right. Well, we appreciate you being here. But uh, most importantly, I think it's about bringing people together. And, and the performance we did last night at the Grammys was, and, uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth, uh, yeah. it's meant to signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race. And it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity yeah, that yeah. bears no um, uh, prejudice against anyone. So. Um, it, that's really the statement in itself. Well, let's try it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. show-like sculpture. I think this was her plan all along to have eccentric outfits each time, so now she can just have bubbles she, and no she's one already, knows her. Yes, she's already making a scene on the red carpet. <laughs> Look over it when you cut to it for real. We're going to get her on the carpet then, right? She's going to come through on the carpet again. Uh, most importantly, I think it's about bringing people together, and and the performance we did last night at the Grammys was and uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth. Uh, yeah. It's meant to signify a an artistic statement of birthing a new race, and it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity yeah, that yeah. bears no um, uh, prejudice against anyone. So no. um, it, that's really the statement in itself. Well, the Tree of Life is a 110-foot monument to nature. It is a center for creativity, knowledge sharing, and healing that has a life after Burning Man. The goal of this project is to be the home of art and performance that inspires social and environmental change. And trees grow and incorporated natural principles of Fibonacci into the main structure. This gave us a repetition in the angles, which made it possible to construct in modules that could be pre-assembled. The design is split into four parts. There's a main structure made out of glue laminated timber and metal connectors, a walkway that takes you from the outside of the tree to a temple space at the top, a fabric facade with two faces incorporated, and branches and leaves that forms a canopy for light shows and projections.
But uh, most importantly, I think it's about bringing people together, and and the performance we did last night at the Grammys was and uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth. Uh, yeah. It's meant to signify a an artistic statement of birthing a new race, and it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity yeah, that yeah. bears no um, uh, prejudice against anyone. So um, it, that's really the statement in itself. Well, let's try it. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Interesting shell-like sculpture. I think this is her plan all along to have eccentric opposite each time, so now she can just have bubbles. She, and she's no one already, knows her. yes, she's already making a scene on the red carpet. <laughs> Look over it when you cut to it for real. We're up get her on the carpet then, right? She's gonna come through on the carpet again. Uh, most importantly, I think it's about bringing people together, and and the performance we did last night at the Grammys was and uh, and what we've been doing with the egg and the rebirth. Uh, yeah. It's meant to signify a an artistic statement of birthing a new race, and it's a race with no prejudice, uh, a race within the race of humanity yeah, that yeah. bears no um, uh, prejudice against anyone. So um, it, that's really the statement in itself. Well, Okay, <clears throat> guys, all right, guys, so here we go. I want to talk to y'all for a sec. So I have to use these lenses to block out the light. It's been messing with my eyes. So now do you understand? This is what I was called to do from the very beginning and the only way to have done this. was to do that that's what resolved the mystery of everything so you you literally in just a slideshow with just a very small percentage of 
the data that the Lord's given me, we've proved out the mystery of all mysteries, of all of everything. Everything. So anyway, what I'm going to continue to do is to find creative ways, like you just saw. Uh, I want to thank Dave for helping me out with that. To repackage the material and add to it. So you guys understand the human host body is a kelepot. That's why I showed you the definition repetitively. Say this to yourself. A kelepot is my body. A kelepot is a shell. A kelepot is a husk. A kelepot is my body. A kelepot is a shell. A kelepot is a husk or a peel that surrounds fruit. Okay. And so that's why these things like Marina Abramovich, where they do spirit cooking, it's real. It is at, because that's what's going on inside of us. There's one spirit cooking the other. That's why I showed you isotoxal. Uh, Beyonce was wearing her, you know, um, here, I'll show you. Just wait a minute. Okay, so, you know, here's Beyonce at the Grammy Awards. <coughs> Sorry, she's dressed as the Virgin. And on her dress right here is an isotoxal star. And she's pregnant with twins. Well, this is so significant. First of all, it's so demonic that you have, that you're carrying twins. And she knows what I know. And she knows that, those twins are in an isotoxal star. And what that means is it's edge transitive. So it, picturing one becoming the other, that's all it isotoxal really means. It's edge transitive. So one edge um, transfers to the other edge in an isotoxal polytope. And so it required all this knowledge to solve this riddle. That's why the, the Lord God gave me a supernatural gift of knowledge. This is not natural. How in the world would I be able to put all this together? There's no way. This is a gift sent by God. That's why my name means gift from God. Look up Jonathan. It means Yahweh is given. And he used me as a conduit to give it all to you. And so now everything's panned out. But so you can see the Ouroboros right here on her, on her dress. And it's inside. And she's carrying twins. And this is all inside an isotoxal star. And that's just a, it's no different than what Lady Gaga said. My performance is about a new race of beings being birthed within the human race. Spirit cooking, Marina Abramovich, it's all the same. Every, the Statue of Liberty holding the flame, that's the imprisoned lightning, which is all of us. Live out your life as exiles. She's the mother of the exiles. Do you get it? This is just, anyway, this is just so obvious now. Now that the data is done. Um, let me just show you that this is so cool. Look, this is a clear plastic layover, and I'll just put it right on top so you can see. There you go. So she's got an isotoxal star, and so she's carrying twins. So I crop. I had uh, Dave the Wave crop the twins that you know, like she's carrying, because inside of her she's got twins. I wrote Cain and Abel. That's Cain and Abel. And it's isotoxal, so we'll go like this. And that's what's going on. I mean, she's literally, on her dress, she's got the whole system going on right there in her dress. I mean, that's just insane. It's literally insane. These people, you know, and the thing is, and I, I want to be very clear about this. I see people that do Jonathan Clay K channels. There's, there's, no, there's no spirit of Christ in them. Um, I don't hate Beyonce because Beyonce is doing this. I feel sorry for her, man. Pray for her. But all the, you know, all the haters, anyone that hates and does hate channels, those people are demons. You know, all of them. Every one of them. Every one of them that thinks they have a channel that's supposed to find false prophets. They All they need to do to find the false prophet is look in the mirror. That's all they got to do. And so there it is. So there's an uh, Ouroboros. Uh, that's called autosarcophagy, the serpent eating its own tail. That's called autosarcophagy, and it means self-cannibalization because that's what the host body does to all of us. We self-cannibalize, and, and I'll just prove it out real quick. I showed you the definition of Ouroboros during the presentation. You know, there it is. 
and Ouroboros, an ancient symbol depicting the serpent or dragon eating its own tail, or rage originating in ancient Egyptian Egyptian iconography. Um, but what's really interesting is um, it is it was adopted as a symbol in Gnosticism and Hermeticism, and most notably, look in alchemy right there. Alchemy is the you know transmutation that's turning one thing to another so that's what it represents so then let me show you the self cannibalization and just let's just do a little knowledge here uh, self cannibalization is a practice of eating oneself it's called auto cannibalization auto sarcophagy okay that's why they buried pharaohs you know in a sarcophagus it literally means flesh eating. That's what a sarcophagus means. Anyway, so, you know, this, this kind of knowledge is sent from the Lord. It's not mine. You know, that's, and, you know, I could go on and on and on and on. So anyway, you know, Lady Gaga, Grammy Awards. That's why she's got a serpent on her dress. Here's the, this is a clear plastic layer where I'll just slide it over there. See it? There it is, right on her dress. And it's form-fitting. It fits, you know, the form of her body. So there's the serpent. All I did was simply draw it in for your perception. Anyway, so this is a done deal. Um, I would like to ask everybody because this, there, there's always, you know, uh, there's a need. And sometimes the need's greater than other times. But, you know, I appreciate the people that, that help out. that, that Y'all make this possible. Um, but what I'd like to do is see show you guys please support the channel we've got a lot of work to do now we've got a whole lot of work and um let's see let's see john and click where is my channel there it is <laughs> sorry i'm so i'm so used to being in the creative studio when by the way if you haven't seen you are exiles the dvd for anyone that doesn't know what's going on, go to my channel and watch the entire You Are Exiles DVD. That will catch you up. Look, and let me talk to you for a sec. A lot of people come in late. They don't know. You haven't been following this channel for a while, and you're like probably, oh. you're freaking out. You see all this stuff, but you don't understand the full gravity and what it all means. If you want to get up to speed, you know, watch the You Are Exiles DVD. That that should get you up to speed on most things, okay? Um I'll probably do a video here where I show you, like, from beginning to end. Like, anyone that's a beginner here, man, let me let me just get you started. I'll give you a, a set of videos that you should watch that'll take you from beginning to end because I put it in the slideshow. Look, unless you turn everything upside down, you never, you never got saved. I, I love you in Christ. I owe it to you to tell you the truth. I'm not going to be popular for telling everybody that, but in the end... I was obedient to the one that called me, and that's all that matters. And he's proven it out now, 100% nylon. Give me a break. 100% no line. It's what resolved all of this. Every bit of data you see is because of that resolution. So it's proven out. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'll, I'll try and do that for you all, for the beginners, and I'll, I'll do a short presentation where I just have all the videos lined up for you guys to watch. Now, if anyone can support the channel, please do it. We have some work to do, and I've, it's kind of stressing me out a little bit. Um, here's our PayPal address, PayPal, jk at jonathanclick.com. Or, or you can simply send it to jclick. Hang on. No. Oh, that's annoying. Let's see. How should I do it? Well, I'll just do it in the address bar up top. J click. P O. Box. Nine one two eight one. San Antonio, Texas. Seven eight two zero oh, nine. There you go. So, J Click PO Box nine one two eight one San Antonio Texas seven eight two zero oh, nine. That's uh, where you can send support 
Uh, and letters. Uh, let me let me talk to you about letters. I love getting letters from people. I don't like getting ten page letters. I just don't have the time. It's like I don't have time to read, you know, four or five pages when there's a stack of letters. You understand? So, man, it would be awesome. Just I love getting letters. Just keep them. You know, no no ten page testimonies. I just don't have time. It's just too much with what I do. You know, so just being honest. Okay. Let's see, what else? Uh, oh, at the end of the slideshow you just saw, I want you to understand how profound this is right here, that you understand that after all of this, that the coordinates for the Burning Man Festival, and, and I, you know, I want you all to understand that we ended this slideshow on something that's so profound, it's mind-boggling, because the, the outlay, the outlay for this whole... Um, Burning Man thing, the outlay for it is in, is in the shape of the Citra Akra, which is the opposing serpents, which represent uh, in Jude everlasting chains of darkness, the serpents going in opposite directions. Those are the everlasting chains of darkness. It says forward and backwards ligaments of the body. Well, because now you know we're in serpent flesh, that's why the Vatican's in the shape of a serpent that's pregnant. That's why, you know, the Targum says, and he made vestures of honor from the skin of the serpent. That's why Genesis 3 says he made them, you know, uh, garments. Um, and the garments mean leather. Um, we are in the skin of the serpent. So let me show you something that is so, so profound. That's why Lady Gaga is wearing a serpent on her dress. That's why Kendall Jenner, look, see, she's got all these opposing serpents. Because, see, right there, look at Kendall Jenner right here, serpent, serpent. That's no different than the Mayan temples, guys. It's no different than, you know, uh, the serpent stuff all over the world. Here's Beyonce coming down in her serpent dress. I mean, because, and then it splits into two because that represents like the double-headed phoenix. Because we are the double-headed phoenix. Cleanse your heart, you double-minded. Okay, so now let me show you this thing really quick. I want to I wanna get to... Uh, I want to I want to show it to you and explain it. The slideshow was great. I mean, I sat here and watched it and was like, "This is so good, just for understanding." But let me let me explain one thing to y'all real quick so you understand. Again, say it uh, say it out loud to yourself. The kelepot, and this is so important because the the Lord had had me. The Lord educated me Himself. I was educated by no man. No man educated me. The Lord educated me. I have the gift of knowledge, the gift of discernment, the gift of wisdom. I, uh, the Lord's let me operate in the gift of miracles, the gift of healing, the gift of laying on uh, hands. Yeah, I speak in tongues. Um, all those spiritual gifts he's allowed me to participate in. God cast out demons, laid hands on people that were incurable, and they were well. Quickly, very quickly. So anyway, so let me show you this. This is the gift of knowledge, and you have to understand how profound this is. Okay, watch this. Okay, the kelepot is represented by an 11-pointed star. There it is. Okay, let me just get to the one where it says it. There it is. Okay, the kelepot is represented by an 11-pointed star. That's called a hindecagram. Okay, and the Statue of Liberty, which represents all the angels that followed lucifer uh that's why they built the statue of liberty and she's the mother of exiles okay so when you look in the center look in the center of the kelepot i've colored the right side up and upside down um i've colored the right side up and upside down triangle um red and then i colored the star and i put a v in the middle of the star just so y'all will understand that represents the number five, okay? That represents the number five, the V, okay? And because everything's about this uh, five and five, half and half uh, paradigm, that's that's the way of understanding all this. Now watch, but that, that star represents one of God's children. That's an angel. That's a spark of holiness that's trapped inside the human host body that, because this, this kelepot represents the host body and that star represents one of god's angels now let me show you so here 
here is a perfect representation of who you are. You're that star that got caught right in the middle and you're being transmuted. And when you turn a star upside down, what does it become? Well, that's, a, that's the sigil of Baphomet right there. That's an upside down star. That's, that's a goat. You turn from sheep to goat. So a sheep's right side up and a goat's upside down. Do you get it? I'll judge between one sheep and another, separating the sheep from the goats. Okay, because their symbol is a goat. Okay, that's why you. That's why, on on the U.S. currency, watch, e, e pluribus unum. You see, it says e pluribus unum right there. Okay, let me take you to the Bible and let me show you who e pluribus unum is. A pluribus unum. Let's see. A pluribus unum is is Genesis one twenty six. It said, and Elohim said. Let us make man a kelepot in our own image. So watch. I'll do Genesis. I'll do one. And I'll go down right here. And it said, so God, which is Elohim, that's many in one because it's plural. Said, Let us, us, that's plural. God is plural. Let us. That's many in one. See, it's that's why it's plural. God's. Of the Supreme God, magistrates, angels, it's all plural. See, this is many in one. This is the representation of the Statue of Liberty. Let us make man in our, look, representative figure, especially an idol. The Lord God does not make figures, especially idols. The Lord God is not a vain show, but Elohim is a representative figure, especially an idol. Now, that is why the Kelepot, when you read your definitions during the slideshow, it says is a representation of impure spiritual forces, and they are synonymous with idolatry. What's synonymous with idolatry? A Kelepot. What's a Kelepot? A host body. Let us make man in our representative figure, especially an idol. You see, it all fits like a glove, man. Absolute perfection in data. I mean, guys, I, look. I, you know, I, I've done engineering classes. I've done science classes. This, this data is not arguable. This is court admissible. You're done data. This is the, this is the data that hangs you. This is it. This is it. This is the, this is the one that judges you. Uh, the truth is what judges everybody, by the way. So if this is the truth, then it's going to judge those people that don't accept the truth. And by the way, there's no way to see the truth without turning everything upside down. You know? It's the only thing I'm dogmatic about. Okay, so anyway, so let me show you how profound this is. So look, the Kelepot, this is your host body, this this 11-pointed star. Uh, this And that surrounds holiness, which is the star in the inside. And it's in a right-side-up, upside-down system. Right-side-up triangle, upside-down. That's the system you're trapped in, male and female. Now... On the U.S. currency, it says e pluribus unum. There's 13 stripes, 13 leaves, 13 olives, 13 stars, 13 letters, 13 letters on the other side where it has the, you know, Novus Ordo Seclorum and Anuit Coeptus. And 13 is the number of rebellion against God and all the world governments that are satanic. And so on our dollar bill right here above the eagle, that's a phoenix. It's a single-headed and so look, if you just simply connect all the stars, here's what it makes. It makes the same thing as the Kelepot. Look right there, bam. And guess what? And the dead, what's in the dead center of, what's in the dead center of this thing? There you go, right there. That's you. That's you. The stars. Okay, so see, you just connect all these right side up triangle, upside down triangle, and look what's in the middle. E pluribus in them. And so we're all caught in a host body. That's why Jude says, and angels that left their own estate, you know, been in their own abode, he has kept in everlasting forward and backward chains, ligaments of the body, darkness. Because the citra acra, which I've shown you, I'll show you right now, the citra acra is the realm of darkness, see? This is their this is their book, the Kabbalah, the book of Sitra Akra, the grimoire of dragons of the other side. So see, these are opposing chains of darkness. One goes this way, one goes this way, and your host body's inside. You're inside the opposing chains of darkness. And so just imagine that at the Burning Man Festival, at the Burning Man Festival, 
the latitude is 40 and, and 119, okay? 40 north, 119 west, okay? Latitude and longitudinal lines. 40 means Abimelech, father is king, a Philistine. David had to kill Goliath was a Philistine. Oh, wow, 119. And I'm just going to, I'm going to open this so you see it with your own eyes because I almost couldn't believe it. We're going to go to Genesis, watch. Here in Genesis 126, and God said, let us make man. Look at the word for man. Look at, look at the word for man. See, it says Hebrew word 120. Let us make man in our image. But it's from the root word right here, 119. I'm going to highlight it yellow now so it's easier to see. Look. Oh, 119. So the word for man is is Adam. This is, you know, Adam, Adam. So here in Genesis 126, when a bunch, the cumulative sum of Lucifer and the angels said, let us make Adam, like man, Hebrew word 120, let us make man 120. It comes from the root word 119. See right there? So the word, uh, So I'm going to click on 119, watch. There it is, 119, Adam. So at the Burning Man Festival, they literally have a Citra Akra surrounding, you know, it's identical to the Citra Akra and the Galapot, and they're burning a man in the dead center of it. I mean, you've got to be joking. I mean, you that's this is the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. It doesn't get any more insane. That the place where they're actually burning the effigy of a human is inside right there right there is where they do it look watch right here is where they burn him this is where it gets burned and this is just put a serpent's head here and a serpent's head here and this is the kelepot right here in the middle and right in the center is you burning adam 119 wow and a philistine king that's insanity guys so anyway now you know Okay, mystery solved. And um, anyway, I don't want to go, just keep going off. There's there's a lot to, there's so much to show you guys. Uh, let me see if, okay. You know what, I'm just going to show you one other thing real quick. I want you to understand. This is all serpents wrapped around, but it's also in Decagram Watch. I will move it over here to the in Decagram. You see it? Because we're surrounded by serpent skin. Because don't forget, you're right here in the middle. You're that star in the middle. So this is your condition right there. That's you. You're that star in the middle in the right side up, upside down system, and you're surrounded by everlasting chains of darkness, which is serpent skin. Told you. Anyway, yeah, this not this kind of understanding only comes from one place. It only comes from the Lord God. So anyway, there it is. And that's why the Statue of Liberty has chains on it. It's It represents leaving heaven, liberty, so getting set free. And then she's chained to the Hindecogram. And don't forget, she's 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 got DNA all the way down. There's the Twin Towers that got burned and made into one. So the two became one. And she's standing on top of the representation of your host body. This now, this picture, guys. This is, you know, there's nothing showing here, but you know, this picture is so important. This is a dead sheep, guys. This is a dead ram. Okay, it's a sheep. It's a big horn sheep, and it's also a serpent. There's the eye of the serpent. There's the eye of the serpent. And what's crazy about this is it's literally the same thing as the Vatican. So. There you go. There's the head of a ram. There's So there's a dead sheep. That's the largest altar in the world is a dead sheep. And then and then there's, there's a serpent. So there's a dead sheep and a serpent on that girl. It says wicked. I mean, you know, come on. It says half. Uh, anyway. Let's see. There you go. This is no different than the serpent right here. The whole Vatican's a serpent. There's the Rio Olympic Stadium. It's a vagina, and at the top of the vagina is is this is this uh, perpetual motion. It's a flame. Let me show you. That's the same as this is the area right here. 
I'm sorry, the area I just showed you, that was the the um, shadow made by the Washington Monument, which is inside the Vesica Pisces. Okay, you see the six and the nine it makes? It's the perpetual motion of the same thing. That flame right there, that flame right there in this cauldron that was lit, that is the same exact place, and I'll put it where it goes. As This is the Olympic Stadium, and this thing is right here. I mean, you got to be kidding me, right? I mean, do you understand? I mean, this is right here. That would be where the clitoris is. And so now we know that what the bait was, the, the dual host body system, that's what was used to take out God's angels. And now let me just show you this one thing right here. I'm going to play this one more time just so you can see it. Just picture the sir. I'm going to pause it. And the Lord God said, behold, the man, okay, the man, okay, Adam, is become as one of us to know good and evil. Okay, now lest he put forth his tree and take from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So, see, we're trapped in these bodies. And unless we stretch forth our hands and we take from the tree of life, which is Christ, and live forever so this mystery is solved guys Okay, so there it is. 40 means my father is king. It's a Philistine. Uh, Goliath was a Philistine, uh, which represents the other race of beings. Uh, 119 means Adam. So the coordinates of the Burning Man Festival, if looked up in the Hebrew lexicon, quite literally translate to my father is king, a Philistine, and they are burning man, Adam. Okay, there it is, guys. All, now, all glory to God. All glory to God. So, yeah, if you guys, uh, if the Lord leads you, please support the ministry this month. I don't know how long we have. It's not long, but there's some stuff that needs to be tied up. And he's got me doing it. So let's let's do it. Let's get it done. All right. It's time to go home, folks. Uh, the, now you know the reason that the Lord is going to burn root and branch. The root's the below ground. The, the branches are the above ground. So he's going to burn it all. The host body system has to be completely and utterly destroyed. So the earth is reserved for fire. Now you know why. Because what's going on inside the host body is where the real battle is. Okay, so now you know spirit cooking is that. 
that's what's going on. And so the way to get saved is turn one of your eyes, start, you know, get an image of the Virgin, turn it upside down, look at the dead sheep. Uh, just go to go to the folders I've I've got for you guys. Um, we'll do another video where I show you how to download those folders. I'll show you what folders are most important. Okay. All right. God bless, guys. Jesus is coming. <laughs> I'm a harbinger, guys. Come on. I mean, duh. It's so obvious now, isn't it? It's like, yeah, he's a harbinger. All right. God bless.